online discussion boards can be a very effective way of engaging students with class content, as well as encouraging them to become actively involved in their own learning. Dr. Leisha Bragg from Deakin University uses e-lectures and discussions in her fully online mathematics education unit. In this episode, we examine the role and the benefits of using these discussions and also offer some useful strategies to facilitate maximum student participation and engagement. It's the Professional Practice of Mathematics Designing an Inclusive Program. It's a wholly online unit in mathematics education. I'm teaching teachers how to teach maths education to primary school students. There's just not the time in a two hour tutorial to talk about a lot of the issues that um, you know, can come up and that you know, students find they're important to them. I absolutely love doing face-to-face -face teaching, don't get me wrong, and I really enjoy um, the interaction I have there. But to be able to translate that into an online environment, I thought that that was um, sort of exciting and um, it's sort of challenging. I wanted to challenge myself in that and in sort of a different pedagogical approach. This CD-ROM has e-lectures that I want them to watch. I asked 13 people to um, you know, talk about something which they thought was important for primary maths education. And so these are lectures, tutorials, workshop sessions, um, keynotes of the best of the best lecturers in Melbourne. So what we do is have a look at what's on the CD-ROM, view each one of these lectures, and then there'll be discussion points online. I pose a question here. There's some readings that go with that. There's a website. So we get them to then uh, reflect on those questions. So what I've tried to do then is each week the, um, there's a new discussion forum. The first week that really should be in there and then a follow-up week, but then it's locked. And that has been really effective in getting people online and getting them, you know, like pacing themselves. There's a group of 20 to 22 um, will be in this um, e-tutorial group and that will have their discussion forums broken down inside that. When I first started online, I just had one discussion forum and all these type of questions would come up in each one of them. And that becomes way too many when you've got so many students. There's a general unit discussion. So every student has access to that. So for this, all 400 of them, and that will have, you know, um, broken into forums for assignments, um, uh, help with you know technical issues on maths, technical issues about being online, so those sort of things. I've broken down um, particular areas because we get a lot of questions in. You can see I've got 300 <laughs> questions about the assignment. What ends up happening too is the students will go in and answer each other's questions a lot of the time, which is great. They're all going to be teachers, so they get in there and teach each other, so it's really nice. They become more actively involved in their own learning. Uh, there is the opportunity not to be the passive observer, uh, that they are critically engaging with the content. They're not just sitting there listening to what's going on, which is a part of the teaching too, but it's all the learning. Uh, but they actually need to reflect on their, their own thoughts. They, they actually really think about what they're going to post before it goes up. And I think students have been surprised at how much they've learned from being online as a result of this, you know, like continual engagement. You always have these students that are so quiet in your tutorials that, you know, you smile at them and that's about the only interaction you have the whole year. And this way I'm actually, I'm getting to get to know them. So I really enjoy that aspect of it. I make sure that the navigation is easy. I make sure that the unit guide matches exactly what's on screen. I make sure that the students have um, the appropriate access too. So it's all the sort of, you know, pragmatic sort of stuff of checking, you know, making sure everything works in that sense. I've got about 400 students in this unit. I try to keep to about 20, 22 in each group because I find that that's more manageable. I tend to have um, three other tutors or lecturers in the unit with me, two a sessional and one full-time staff. My biggest advice to the students and biggest advice for any of my colleagues has been make sure that you're online every day for, for teaching staff particularly. Make sure you're online every day so that it can keep you keep on top of it. You will get the odd student who will come in at the very last minute post and you never see them again and you know their marks are reflected in that so that's not a discussion and I and I write that in that it's not a you know it's not a discussion to post put one posting in there not refer to anyone else's not refer to any references or what's going on in the field and then leave I'm developing a 
an online forum which can help, you know, that we can build our understanding socially um, and, you know, socially construct our understanding of what it is to teach mathematics and, you know, what it is about fractions or, you know, why do students come with anxiety towards mathematics. I've really built up a sort of an environment where, you know, it's a sharing environment and all, all points of view are value, valued and um, getting the students to, you know, um, congratulate someone on a good post as, as far as, you know, like, um, you know, agreeing or disagreeing or, but in a, in a constructive way. And you can see by the end of it, by the end of the eight weeks that they're really starting to, you know, come on a lot more. In every area in which you can teach, um, surely you can discuss and you can discuss online. And I've been doing it effectively in mathematics education where students are quite apprehensive about mathematics and quite apprehensive about ICT and it's been successful. So I think that it could work for you know, literally any area of curriculum or any discipline.